So as the title says, I am going to be reviewing a wig and this is going to be some chit chat. So if you are interested in my chit chat and this wig, stay tuned. Okay, so I promise this wasn't a clickbait um, showing you a new wig. This is actually an old wig that I have, and I reordered it, but there's a little story behind my reorder. So let's get started here. I'm going to try to make this quick. I don't want to make a really long video. This wig is uh, by the uh, Ellen Willa. It's the Arrow wig. Now, I got the same exact wig that I already have, had, there's a story behind this one, same color, same everything, and I did two videos on the Arrow wig prior. You can go back to my video feed and you'll find the videos I did of Arrow. Now, somehow I lost that wig. Don't ask me how you lose a wig. I don't know how I lost the wig. I mean... I could have accidentally thrown her away. Um, she wasn't really my favorite. So I'll explain to you why I got this wig again. And then we'll go into just me trying the wig on and blah, blah, blah. And doing some chit chat. Because I have some things I want to chit chat about. So we're not going to go into big specs with this wig. Because like I said, I, ha I had this wig. I reviewed it twice. I got it in the same exact color from the same company. I purchased this with my own funds from namebrandwigs.com. I am not sponsored to do any videos for them or nothing like that, but I always go to them. I trust them. I've been going to them for years for for my own purchases and they've always done me right. I ordered this wig two days ago and I got it today. That's good. So I appreciate that. Anyhow, so I ordered this on their 50% off. Um, Obviously, 50% off of their clearance stuff is usually an open box or something that was sent back. So, before I pop this on my head, I definitely will be checking it over, making sure that it has its tags and everything else. And I'm going to put it on my head and then should chat about some stuff. So, um, like I said, I'm not going to go into big specs about her, but I, it's the, from the Perucci. Uh, line and it's uh, Ellen Willa and like I said she is the arrow and it's the same color that I had before it's in the co color caramel lighted it's the same exact specs as my videos prior like I said I got her for 50% off it was probably like an open box so hey well, I'm just gonna put on her head on my head and we're gonna get into this yeah Okay, so when you purchase things on clearance that are open boxes, it does not, obviously, somebody took the the uh, wrap, of, the netting off of it. So the netting is gone, but nonetheless, it still comes in the box and everything else. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to sanitize it before I put it on my head, because if I pull this out of the box and it looks funky funky, then we'll be coming back for this video. Okay, so that makes me feel a little bit better. It is still got the tags hanging from it, and it does still have all of its little stuff. So probably somebody didn't like the color and said, sending it back. So somebody else's loss is my gain. So here we go. Like I said, it's the same exact color as the last one that I had that I cannot find. So here we go. We're going to put this on, and then... We're going to have some chit chat. So uh, yeah, this is remember this is a left hand part only, which that's fine by me. And uh, it's like I said, it's caramel lighted. It has some soft, subtle rooting. It is a golden blonde. It is very similar to my own color. That's what I liked about it. This one seems to be a heck of a lot softer than the one I had because I remember my my review. Okay, so I do got a little bit of shedding. But apparently nobody really wore it. Uh, I see all the tags and everything are exactly the same. Every, everything the way mine was. 
I do see a little bit of shedding. That was just it, though. I mean, you can't really see too much more. Anyhow, so I'm going to get her on, and we're going to talk. Okay, like I said, I'm not going to get too much into this wig. Uh, I am going to talk about it a little bit. Um, Ellen Willow really has a wonderful, and I want to say wonderful, hairline. So, um, this is my Widow's Peak right here. But if you look at this hairline, that is just fabulous. I uh, do have, like, my own hair pulled out on the side, like I always do. Along the side here, as my own hair is pulled out. And then... Obviously, on this side, I have my hair pulled out also. Um, beautiful highlights around the face. Um, one thing, one thing that I noticed about this unit versus the unit that I had. If you watch my other videos that I had for this wig, I did not like how mine came out of the box and it already seemed like it was ready tatty, like on the ends. And you know what I mean when I say ready tatty. You know, we all, all as wig wearers, we know what ready tatty means when your ends are looking frayed already. And for some reason, my arrow just looked horrible right out of the box, the original one that I got. This one is like really soft. Mind you, this is an open box wig, so I it's kind of weird, it's ironic that the one that I got originally was, I, just, I didn't like it very much. I wore it anyways, but it eventually wore out super quick. This one is super soft, yet the one that I had before had more curls than this one. Like, this one doesn't have as many curls as the one that I originally had. So, that's kind of really weird about wigs. It, it is, like... No, you could order 10 of the same wig and they're never going to be the same. So, yeah. But I'm loving this. Oh my gosh. I, somebody else's loss is my gain. So I got this 50% off, guys. Anyways, so what I wanted to talk about some stuff. Um, I usually don't really rant and rave and uh, speak negatively, but some weird stuff has been happening. So I got an email that was from YouTube claiming that a video that I made four years ago, I don't know, my subscribers, if you've seen it, I mean, this is from a long time ago, and it wasn't even about a wig. It was part of my outdoor lifestyle where I was filleting some fish that I caught out of a lake. It was like uh, filleting crappie or something. Now, I made that video four years ago, and I made it when I had my Android phone with an app um, that allowed you to like, you know, do cutesy little stuff and add like some little sound bites or whatever. And so really this video was just of me outside filleting fish and with some added sound to it. Not even words, just like a little jingle, like whatever that was added to the video. And I got a copyright claim. copyright claim like from something from four years ago that nobody pays any mind to me filleting fish outside nothing to do with wigs just a two minute video that's all it was was a two minute little video I have since changed it to private so like only I can see it because I'm not really sure what's going on why somebody would copyright something that was a free app with free sound bites from four years ago yeah, I honestly just don't understand. I don't get it. So, anyhow, so I'm kind of dealing with that right now. And another thing, too, is that, you know, sometimes I see in my emails that I have notifications of um, comments that are on my videos. So I'm just letting you know right now that sometimes I don't get those. If I don't see those and I don't reply to your comments, I apologize. Um, when I find them in my email, sometimes I go to find the video where the comments are, and they don't, and they're not there. And I'm like, well, where the heck did they go? Like, how come I found it on my my email, 
and then but it, then it's not there in the video and how do I answer something if I can't find it so if you have questions and I don't get to your answers right away I apologize hopefully I'll find them and reply um, and another thing I actually had somebody make a comment and you know I don't like to be negative or some negative but I actually had somebody make a comment that said before you make a video you should make your bed. Do you see what's in my bed? Oh, let's see. I'm doing this all backwards. Do you see what's in my bed? I can make my bed a thousand times a day. It ain't gonna stay. Not to mention that I also have chihuahuas who like to burrow and they burrow up underneath the blankets and you see those little mound, you know, that's why nobody jumps on the beds around here. But my bed's never going to be made. This is my bedroom. This is where I'm making my videos. If you don't like it, scroll along, exit out, don't follow, but don't come on somebody's page and say, make your bed. I don't have to make my bed. And if you don't like my content and you don't like the way my room looks, then don't don't watch. That's all I can say. We're all grown-ups here. I'm, I'm way too old to be playing that type of petty stuff. Anyhow, I am absolutely loving this new arrow. So what I'm going to do is, gosh, I just can't believe this arrow is like, ten times better than the one that I had. That's crazy. Anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and take some photos and that is how I'm going to end this video. But like I said guys, um, check out name brand wigs. Like I said, I am not promoted to do any of these. I just always have good luck with them. I always get everything on time from them. They are really good. If something happens, they actually email you. They contact you. They are great. I can't say nothing more about them. That's where I purchase all my wigs from. So to end this video, I'm going to go ahead and go outside and I'm going to take some photos of her in the outdoor lighting away from my unmade bed bedroom. And then you can see her in the sunlight because where I'm at in Michigan, the sun is shining and it is a beautiful day. Today is May 1st. May 1st. Oh. Anyhow, that's it. I shall see you in my next video. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. I appreciate it. As always, hug your loved ones and tell them how much you love them. Man, they are lazy. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.